is a cup of bran flakes here um, for two points, I believe. Some monk fruit sweetener, one point, a cup of almond milk unsweetened, and a quarter cup of egg white and one egg. Oh, and a banana. And this is my four point breakfast on the blue plate. Here's a couple of things I picked up at the store. I can't always find these ones. So if you can find the multigrain Tostitos, that would be great. I found them in the scoop, so I'm real glad about that. And I did write the points that were blue up here on the bag. So for 12 of these, you have four points. Uh, for three points, you get eight. For two points, you get six. And then for one point, you can have four. So sometimes you just need four to put on top of a salad. Sometimes you're gonna you know, go with eight and you just don't want all of them. You don't want four points, whatever. I wanna give myself options. So I'm gonna write down the different options on here so I can see it at a glance. And then the Smart Food Smart 50 popcorn, same thing. Three cups is five points. I can go for three points for two cups. That might just be enough. And then two points is one to one and a half cups. Um, you're still at two points. And sometimes that's all you need. So again, give yourself options. You don't have to go for the full. The one that they list that comes up is always the most here. And that doesn't mean, you know, if I, I would get scared off if I just looked at the most amount for each thing that I put in my tracker and just say, oh, I can't, I can't possibly stay in those points. Well, you can stay in those points if you just take a little bit less. And so have less of these types of foods, which are great to have, and a few more of the cucumbers or an apple or something else that's going to weigh you out on the zero point list and it's going to fill you up. So that's just an idea. I just wanted to pass that along. Okay, this is lunch today. I have a Santa Fe wrap here for two points. And then I've got the True Grill uh, packet of grilled chicken breast on there. I got at Sam's Club and uh, for two points. And I've got a smidgen, like an eighth of a cup of this reduced fat Fiesta blend from, from um, Walmart up on top. And I've got my zero point black bean and corn salsa on here, a tablespoon of guacamole down underneath. And what else? I think that's pretty much gonna be it. I might put a little bit of sugar-free barbecue sauce on here and that'll just set it off. I've got an apple my um, sparkling water drink here for zero and i have not quite a cup i had like a three quarter cup which is one point for three quarter cup of the italian style wedding it's a light progresso soup and um, it was left over in the fridge so that's why it's not quite one cup and that's going to be enough though and this should be um, a really good lunch. It's seven points. Hey everybody, I'm in the garage and I thought I would show you this little tip because I hadn't thought about it before, but somebody might think that it's valuable. Um, I have this upright freezer in the garage and um, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what's in here because it stacks from the bottom to the top. And so what I did was I took one of the little blue books that I buy for my kids for homeschool and um, you, know, you could use anything, but it's affixed, it's taped to this uh, top of the freezer and it's a freezer inventory. So I just did like a little quick jot down of everything that I had in here. But um, as far as like how many of those things, it would be how many dinners are included. So chicken breasts, I know I have enough for three full dinners. And so if I go in here and take one of those packages out, then I'm gonna scratch off one of my uh, chicken scratches here, and I know I'll only have two left. So this is everything that's in here, and those are the, the amount of dinners that I have in here. So I don't even have to open the freezer and you know let all the cool air out. I just open the little book and I can see what's in here. Now I came in here looking for chicken um, thighs and I see I don't have any chicken thighs. I have drumsticks, but I don't have any chicken thighs. Now, if I was going to make this better, I kind of did this on a whim, so it's really quick. I could make it so much better because I could separate things as far as like chicken on one page, ground beef on another page, and kind of like um, not only separate it that way, but I could actually write down the dates of when it went in. And that way I know first in, first out, and I'll be rotating them so that we don't have anything in there going bad and getting frostbit. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do from now on. 
um, at the beginning of this year, but what's in there is in there right now. So from now on, I think what I'm gonna start doing is separating it and actually putting the date in there so that I know what day those dinners went in. So anyway, just a little tip, I thought I would pass that on. Morning everybody, it's Tuesday morning and I am finishing up my last bit on the treadmill here for now. I'll probably get on there again later today. But hubby and I just got done working out together because he is helping me with my weight routine. And we decided that um, he's going to help me every other day, which is great because to me, it's not like every single day. If it was every single day, I think it would seem overwhelming. Um, not that I don't work out somehow every day, but as far as like the weight routine and getting up super early, I don't think I could keep that up, you know, if it was every single day. Um, and so it's like a three days on, one day off. So however that falls during the week is what it will be. Um, so this morning I have to take my thyroid medicine super early. I usually set the alarm for like 4.30 to take it and then um, he's so sweet to bring me a cup of coffee about an hour later and then I can get up and out of bed and get moving and so I set the alarm for four this morning and then um, had some coffee about five thanks to my honey and we got right in here in the gym and got moving and so um, I'm just really glad actually to be able to get moving earlier because then that means after workout I can get a lot of other things done that I need to do and be ready for the day. So I think this is going to be a good thing. For lunch today, I have a Greek chicken pita. I have, um, I'm using these pitas here. Yes, I could go with Joseph's. I could go with a lower carb or I could go with like a wrap or something, but this is really worth the whole lunch here. These are phenomenal. These are uh, Papa Pitas and I get them at Walmart. Most places carry them. Um, they're whole wheat and it's like a fluffy cloud. It's just really, really soft and really nice. And so I've got some chicken breast from the rotisserie chicken that I had cut up this weekend. And I have an ounce of the feta for one point. Two tablespoons of the tzatziki is one point. This is all blue plan. Oh, and these pitas, it's um, five points. Again, a little pricey, but really worth it. I've got half a serving of my white chicken chili for two points and a half a cup of applesauce. And I'm drinking one of these zero point sparkling waters. Um, so that's pretty good. This is going to be a great lunch. Of course, I've got the English cucumbers and um, tomatoes on top as well. And it's just going to be great. Oh, it all comes to about nine points. All right, what I've been doing this week is using growing oatmeal. So it uses actually a less amount of oatmeal when you cook, and that's a Hungry Girl method. Um, if you'd like me to show you how to do it, I will. I've been thinking about doing a whole week of just Hungry Girl or just regular or different types of growing oatmeal flavors. Um, but it really cuts down the points and the calories, but not the bulk. Hey guys, good morning. It is Friday morning and I wanted to give you a quick week in review um, real quick. Okay, so I get 23 points a day on the blue plan and 
I did not stay in my points every day, but I stayed in the blue dot range. So I think there was like one or two days where I made it under 23 and the rest I was anywhere, you know, like three to five above or whatever it is, it still got me a good a blue dot. I was still somewhere in that range. And I'm finding that that's a very satisfa a satisfactory place for me to be right now. Obviously, you know, um, if it doesn't work and I need to cut some more, I'll have to cut my points. Um, but what happened was I went onto the scale this morning and I am down 1.4. So I'm very happy with that this week. Um, and I have one of, we've got one of those scales that breaks down body fat, visceral fat, you know, muscle, even bone density, all that stuff. And so I see that um, yes, a lot of it is going to be water and a lot of it was water, but, um, as far as now visceral fat, my visceral fat actually didn't change. So that's the fat that's around your organs, but my subcutaneous fat, um, which I think is easier to lose that actually went down and it went down in ounces. I think it was like 0.6 or something like that of that was actually, um, subcutaneous fat according to the scale but um i'm i'm happy with that i have read that before that we actually lose fat in ounces and the rest is kind of like water fluctuations when it's like pounds but um unless you know there's different circumstances but for me i knew it would be ounces and i'm so glad and uh so 1.4 down this week i'm very very happy with that um so i'm happy with my point range um and it could be anywhere from like 20 three points a day to I've gone up to 20, 29 or 27 or something. And so, um, and I still fall within that range. Once I see that, and, and well, I, I try to be in the 23 and I try to get as close as possible, but sometimes it's just like, I'm sorry, I gotta have a little mayo on my sandwich or something. And, um, but I purposely leave off nuts for my oatmeal now. And I make those little changes that are gonna keep me as close to the range as possible. And I realize it's not gonna be forever, but it's right now because I need to lose. So I purposely been leaving the avocado off my sandwiches. Um, I don't think I've had avocado this week, maybe once. And, um, and, and it's just because of that, because I have to make the switches and it's those little switches that add up that are going to come and either carry you over the successful victory line or it's gonna keep you back or looking on the sidelines and I wanna go forward. Um, that being said, I have decided on my word of the year and that is um, perseverance. And pre perseverance is something that I have to keep my eyes on. It's something that you're going to do, um, keep going. It's something that keeps you going even though things might seem like they're not changing or it seems like they're against you to just have uh, perseverance to keep going on and honestly my perseverance is you know just really heavily impacted by my faith in God and I'm just going to keep on looking upward and onward and just keep running this race right so um anyway perseverance is the word no matter what comes just keep going just keep strong in the face of adversity whatever on good days bad days just keep going. So that's what I'm going to do. That's where my heart is. And I just wanted to share that with you. Um, so anyway, there we go. 1.4 down. I am so jazzed. And tonight is our date night. Um, and we haven't really been thinking about it too much, but we have known that it's going to be nice. And we'll probably do Mediterranean because we love that place. And they have a nice fudge brownie there. <laughs> and so we're going to split that and it'll be good. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.